Oh, there she is. I've just been reading about your new chum. Really? My new chum? Danny Roberts. He's a fascinating character. From drug dealer to coffee bar entrepreneur, make a wonderful TV movie. Yes, darling, I'm well aware of his background, but I think if you read a little further, you'll discover that he's never been convicted of anything. Ah, yes, I suppose you have to respect him for that. But I still don't quite understand the attraction. Well, maybe I just see something in him you don't. What's that? Independence Day! Well, the last I heard, that was in July. No, this is my Independence Day. The day my divorce goes into effect. I can see you're really trying here, Sid. Well, darling, sorry, I've got so much to do today. It's great that you're thinking positive. You know, I have a secretary to handle my appointments. You didn't really need to go to the trouble. Well, since you've had my surveillance cameras removed, I've had to resort to more uh, conventional methods. Oh, poor thing. I guess I'll just have to send you a snapshot once in a while to keep you company. Sydney, do you really have such a low opinion of me? Oh, yes. Why do you ask? I know what's really going on between you and young Mr. Roberts. And I must say, I'm a little disappointed. And I must say, I have no idea what you're talking about, Jared. I'm talking about the use of such small game to make me jealous. Really, Sydney, it's rather pathetic. Admittedly, Mr. Jokic has a certain rebel charm, but one would think he would set your sights a little higher. Well, Jared, for one thing, I'm not making you jealous. You're doing a great job of that all by yourself. But that's precisely the point, my love. You can go ahead and try to amuse yourself with a dozen Danny Roberts or geriatric rock stars like Nick Rivers. But they will never be enough, not for you. I see. And why is that, my dear, sweet husband? Because I'm the only man who has ever really challenged you. I brought out the best in you, Sid. Made you the best. And deep down inside, you know that. Well, thank you, Dr. Frankenstein. And in the meantime, darling, the clock is ticking. Oh, you'll come around long before our little deadline. And by then you'll be back right where you belong. Seated at the right hand of God. Right, left. I'm flexible. Oh, not to mention just a wee bit arrogant. Darling, would you like to hear my prognosis? On what? On our future. Or... Lack thereof. So, what do you think? I think they look used. Well, obviously. But no, no, this stuff is fine, but let's consider it a last resort. Danny, look, the auction's on Tuesday. What, there'll never be another auction? No, but I thought we could get this thing off the ground. My look, let's just see how this meeting with Sid goes, all right? And we'll go for the gold, all right? I mean, if she comes through for us, we're going to have the kind of place we always dreamed of. I'm talking Taj Mahal. I am talking Versailles. I thought we were talking coffee bar. No, we're talking the coffee bar. Black walnut counters with shiny brass cappuccino machines, Italian chairs, and marble floors. We're going to have beans from every country that ever grew a coffee bean. Our place is going to make every other coffee bar Look like a bodega. You should have seen Bernardo at the, at the auction place. He was like a kid in a candy <laughs> store. He was so excited about this coffee bar. He and Danny both.